Oi! Oi! Konnichiwa, my lads and lasses. What is the haps? What's going on, ladies and chaps? My mustache seems to be acting a fool. It is what it is. My phone's in kind of a weird spot, so it's tracking me in weird ways. It's something we're just gonna have to deal with. All right. You can tell by the stream stuff. We're doing real business today. I wonder if there's a way that I can stick an item to an item in the in this VTube studio. Luna keeps losing her hat. I gotta stay perfectly still, otherwise she becomes hatless. Oi, 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 oi! Alright. Ready, set, go, chat. So, got a little lucky here, to be honest. I already know where we're at. Are we volume-wise? Yeah, we can stick up 10. We are in Laos. The University of Laos is where we're at, in fact. But we might as well get some intel while we're in Laos. We have blue license plates. We have yellow license plates. More yellow than that. There's one blue. We have a white, but another yellow. Could it be white on the front, yellow on the back? Let's have a look at the back of this guy here. Oh no, it's white on the back as well. Interesting, interesting. But at least we got an easy one there, if I can remember where. Yeah, there's Laos. All right, where are we now? I see some blurring here. That's a little sus. That's a little sussy. Are we just straight up in Germany? That looks pretty German to me. If I was a betting man, I would say that it's probably Germany. There's a lot of stuff blurred here, chat. <clears throat> However... Yeah, I don't know. That's a Maserati just driving down the street here. Not a cheap car. 
I was going to say po possibly a country with a little less wealth, but no, I don't I don't think that's the case. If only I knew what language Shulbus was. Shulbus. Kinda hoping that we can catch a web URL somewhere around here. Often chef. I mean, ooh. Oh, fuck. Can't zoom in any more than that. I mean, the signs of it being Germany are pretty strong. Pretty sure he's got a web address. But I can't read it from there. Oh, yeah. And we can't read it from there. Oh, wait. Honestly, can't tell if the first letter is a G or not. I don't think it is. Dang, chat. All the best clues right now are hard to decipher. I need some uh, irrefutable evidence. We could just be close enough to an uncensored license plate that we can actually read the country. We're coming up bigly. But all these are just like just far enough away that I can't make it out. I mean, the weird thing, though, is aside from that one building at the beginning that's, like, all blurred out, there isn't any more unusual blurring that I'm seeing. Just 
could just mean that it's the German side of Switzerland. Or doesn't even Austria have a bit of German in it? See, that's too much of an angle. You just can't catch a brick when it comes to reading the license plate. Come on, come on, have a web address. Don't be stingy, Rick. can't make that out you waving at Google guy Wow you great googly moogly That could be a Netherland or a um, Lux play. If it's Netherlands, then it's more likely that we're in Germany. If it's Lux, then it doesn't really help because fucking Luxembourg. Well. Could it be Belgium? I'm like trying to remember. Have we seen any Germany? Wait, what am I doing? I didn't want to fuck that up. We have too much riding on this. I can't let the homies down. Hmm. I'll never surrender, never let go. This is some uh, damn nice houses. They don't look super European, however, the road itself does. Which might mean Switzerland. Could be the Switzerland play right here, chat. Could be, could be. Fuck on. Horny Zadar! Hmm, just print screen that quickly. You're going to Horny Zadar, chat. Okay, now, what language uses angry eyebrows over their Z and their Ds, chat? You just find the country with the angry eyebrows and you find the answer you're looking for. Could be a Slovakia. 
We do have the thing over the A over there. Hold up, chat. I could have swore I saw angry eyebrows. I'm pretty sure that's angry eyebrows over the Z there. If we can just find proof that they do that with D's as well. Both of these. But I'm not seeing it over A's necessarily here. Here's an E. Yo, there's an A with that thing. I haven't seen a D with it yet, but... You look at their alphabet, and they do be doing a lot of what we're looking for at the moment. The only thing, though, is we haven't seen the D that we're looking for. Doesn't mean that it's not in their vocabulary, though. But... No, I don't think it's Polish. Poland has a weird funicular, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. Oh shit, their Z's have angry eyebrows up here. Could we possibly be up here? Can we find proof that they do tamper with their A's? Okay, if I'm being honest, I'm still leaning towards Chechia being the better option. Yo, JPP owner, what's going on? A hippie birthday and greetings from the Rory's Royal Rearrangement Rights. Yo, thank you for wishing a happy birthday. How the heck are you doing today there, bud? Or should I say a hippie birthday? I do like to have a good hippie birthday. So I do appreciate. <laughs> okay, I definitely don't think it's Estonia. We're just gonna peruse, but I don't think it's Estonia. I think Chechia is probably the most likely candidate. Yeah, I don't think it would be Austria. I don't think... Wait, could it be Hungary? Mm, could it be Hungary? I 
I don't think it's hungry. Austria is just straight German? Yeah, I had a feeling. I thought the entire country was like that. Um, I don't think Romania feels right either. Yeah, they like their little S-tail things. Oh, they have angry eyebrows, but that's above the A, which is not what we're looking for. Mm. Wouldn't be Serbia, Albania. I don't think it's Albania either. They just like their umlau down there. Uh, Slovenia is where I started. It wouldn't be Slovakia, right? Could be Slovakia. They have the A. Do they have angry eyebrowsies? I don't see any Zs with angry eyebrows. I see an S with it. Oh, wait. Is that a Z with an angry eyebrow? I can't tell. I need to get closer. Oh, that is a Z with an angry eyebrow. Okay, so... The most likely locations at the moment, then, are Slovakia, Chechia, or possible Lithuania. Now, who's the most likely to have a horny Zadar? and name their road that. Not Lithuania? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Lithuania, Slovak, Czechia, yeah. They wouldn't be speaking. Yeah. Our languages in Switzerland do not look like what we're looking at, as far as I know.
Rasur and Plashy. And those trash receptacles. Yeah, that could be Slovenia. Especially the blue little, or the green dome thing. I know that those little dome things are more of a Central Europe vibe. Most infamous Slovenian is Vinko Bogataj. An artist and former ski jumper. For decades, he's known as the Agony If Defeat. Opening montage on the wide world of sports. Oh, interesting. No plans, just chilling. Hell yeah, I can support that vibe. I can drink to that, brother. Well, ain't that just a beaut. Ostrov and Jakimov. Are those city names? They might be city names. And if we can find uh, Ostrov or Jakimov. <laughs> it doesn't sound dirty at all, right, Chet? Jackama. <laughs> so there's a low kev. Alright, let's take a step away from Slovenia here for a second. Hold on a sec. Hold up. This doesn't feel poor enough to be a Slovenia. Yo, Asteraz, welcome to the stream. I gotta uh, mute for a second. I got a phone call coming through, so I will be right back.
It was my papa, chat. Twas my papa. He was wishing me a happy birthday. Um, so, my new strategy is to find countries that have uh, city names or town names that end in of, because that seems like a theme. Like, Krumlov. That seems kind of like what we're looking for, to be absolutely Karlovy chat. That sounds... I think I'm gonna put it on Chechia. Ch -ch -ch Chechia chat sounds like the right place. Sometimes you just gotta play the game of finding a theme. And sometimes the theme is just quite simply. Ovs. Who's using the most ovs, chat? It's so obvious. Yuck, 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 yuck. Le Grand Curtius. That sounds either French or wannabe French. What are you dealing with over here? Parlez-vous Francais? Hey, hey, hey. Oui, oui. All right, chat, chit chat, boys, girls, what do you think? What do you think? Hemiopath, wait, hemiopathy, not, yeah. Herboristory. Pharmas, pharmakaki. <laughs> Libotaic de lige. Souvenirs de Ligi. Arts et Folklores. Okay, well, I would say that we've narrowed that down to probably being Francais. But, are we in Switzerland, the chat, or are we in the true motherland? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, wait. Or are we in none of the above? <laughs> Red plate is Belgium, right? There's a third, there's a fourth, there's a fifth, six. Okay, it's looking like a strong Belgium could be highly possible now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that bike was Belgium too. And there's no way anybody's fucking going on Vespa to a different country. I highly, highly doubt. That's going to happen. That's a brave Vesper there. That would be a pretty crazy shit. Belgium. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, palm trees, chat. Are we in America with palm trees, or... United Arab Emirates? That's... That is definitely the United Arab Emirates flag. And I'm not gonna say that I'd have a hard time believing that we're near Dubai. Hey, 
In fact, I would definitely believe that we're in Dubai. Jumeira Bur Dubai. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's fucking go, chat. Let's fucking go. Your streak is now 30 countries. Jarrier Enterprise. We have green tuck tuck. Is that green and black? I'm fairly confident this is just straight up India. I don't think we're in Sri Lanka, although it very realistically could be Sri Lanka. It may actually be Sri. I mean, if I'm looking... I'm pretty sure it's this dialect, like, over here in Indoor. But then my one question is, I mean, I know Sri Lanka, Bangladesh maybe. Oh, you're right. You are right, that does look more similar to Bangladesh, right? Does it? Mm. No, I'm not sure if it does look like Bangladesh now that I look at it harder. I'm pretty sure I was right. I think it... This last... Mm, could be all three different dialects. I know India has the green and yellow uh, tuk tuk. See the red tuk tuk. <sighs> that one. Is, that's what's throwing me off. Is the red tuk tuk. I don't remember if that feels right or not.
Okay. That looks like the dialect from Bird Hamon. Look at that. And then you look at that. That is definitely the same character. Okay, but they do have that in Bangladesh too. Okay. So that might be the primary. That might be secondary. But that other sign may have had three languages on it. My other question pertains to, look how thick the vegetation is here. We have to be close to the coastline. So I think my initial thought of like where we, where I was saying over here near Nagpur and and this area, indoor. I don't think we're that far inland. It either has to be like Kolkata or Bangladesh. Do they drive on the left hand side in Bangladesh? Left in both. There is English there, which kind of makes me believe India. But then again, there isn't really any English on, like, any of the actual sign signs aside from this, so... Maybe it is Bangladesh. It really doesn't feel like transportation is designed around here for like English speaking people that's for sure I don't think we're going to find anything in a language that's going to help us, so... Ah, fuck. I know green tuk-tuks are very popular in India. Do we guess on India, or do we 
go for Bangladesh. Because I think guessing is probably going to be our only play here. I don't think we're going to get a 100% answer. Like, what dialect do they use down here in Sri Lanka? Because I don't see any of the alphabets that you'd expect to see. But I know that they don't just use a regular alphabet. Or, like, the English alphabet. Go, India. Fuck, dude, it was Bangladesh. That one would have been a tough one, though. The knowledge that we pulled out is that Bangladesh also has green tuk-tuks. They have red tuk-tuks as well. So Sri Lanka and Bangladesh have red tuk-tuks. Although Sri Lanka's is more like a violet. Look at that little derpy horse. Oh, which direction do we even want to head with this? Yellow license plate, so I mean, there's a possibility. It could just be Columbia here. they keep phasing in and out of existence or wait are we in Africa no no I'm pretty sure we're in South America or Central America Chat, I wanted to do something Star Wars related tomorrow, but we're still not done God of War. I didn't play it at least yet today because I didn't want to be tilted on my birthday. But... I do want to complete that before either starting uh, Star Wars Survivor or the more than likely answer is starting, I, I, I kind of want to start Tears of the Kingdom day one, but even still, I don't think I'll be beating God of War in less than 24 hours. I'm pretty convinced that we're just in Colombia.
I guess judging by the soil, it could be Colombia or um, Brazil too. I do think we are in the northern hemisphere though. It looks like the sun's somewhere back there. Feels too flat to be Chile. I suppose it could be Argentina. Another yellow play. I'm just gonna put it for Colombia, honestly. Like something like Africa, isn't it? Unfortunately, I can't see that sign, so I don't know what language that is. <laughs> Never changes. I mean, it could straight up be the Philippines or like Thailand. Nah, probably not likely Thailand, but it could be the Philippines. Oh, that is a bird. Thought that was a plane. You're saying Guatemala? Guat. What gave it away? What makes it particularly Guatemalan? have like little palm trees growing up in their like personal garden here that's fucking wild to me is somebody whose trees all go friggity fraggity in September late August Coming for you. All right, so Guatemala, a little bit of a blue, 
and then red over there. White for the majority of the plate. Is that a consistent thing? That one's just straight up white. Cool motto. This just reminded me. I have a bunch of scratch tickets and like lotto things that I need to check the numbers on. <laughs> oh shit! It was Dominican Republic. You may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh... so yeah, that's why you can't trust the metas. But you really understand that's what happiness feels like. Yeah, that's what happiness I guess that explains that one guy's license plate a lot better than why they were those particular colors. Pharmacia! Now, would we assume that that's Spanish? I don't reckon I would. What's that license plate over there? Hmm. This is three dollars. The baseball player factory. True. There's some there's some heavy swingers from Dominican Republic. This is there's a joke there. I think it's slightly racist, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really apply so much to Dominican Republic. If they were... If there was, like, some heavy-swinging Mexicans, I would say it's because they want to break past all the walls. <laughs> but I mean that in the best way possible. I'm somebody who's jumped a fence or two in my lifetime. I don't give a fuck about boundaries and borders. Quite a lovely ocean shot we have here. It's... Our ocean is to the south, southwest, at least on this point, so... We could be looking out in, like, this particular direction. Which doesn't really help us narrow it down. But we are in a hilly area, so it very easily could be Chile. I am liking a Chilean answer, to be honest. One city in Dominican Republic is known for producing so many MLB shortstops. Huh, interesting. Shortstop would not been the position I would have been expecting. You learn something new every day. Do 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 do. Monteporo. Pizza Escanaro. Uh huh. Monteporo. Ow, 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 ow. Carabinieri.
That almost doesn't sound... Yeah. Mediterranean. Are we just, like, straight up in Italy right now? I'm not getting a strong Malta vibe. But this could just straight up be Italy. Oh, it is Italy. All right, who are you? What do you smell like? Um, smell a highly armed. Is that an automatic weapon this guy is holding? Seems like some high stakes fucking security. I'm 90% sure that is a weapon. I don't know what else would be slung like that. would appear to be South America. I'm pretty sure... Wait. Where even the fuck is the sun? Holy shit. Directly north. Yeah, I would say we're like... We're... We're strong in the southern hemisphere. And this is definitely not Africa. Even though we haven't started moving yet, I can tell you it's not Africa. Um, Miha, Filtros, Ifajas, Bobinas, La Pintura Buena. Okay, well, we know one thing, chat. Laja Verde, Laja Amarilla. Okay, well, now we just gotta figure it out. White plates, white with blue text, it looks like. So I want to say that we're probably on the east side of South America. I'm trying to remember who's got the white with blue. Is it just straight up Argentina? It's either Argentina or it's Uruguay. Oh yeah, so getting back to the Star Wars thing for tomorrow. May may the 4th be with you all. I might play some Lego Star Wars just to vibe for the day. But then that definitely means that we don't finish God of War before uh Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So I'm kind of torn. I don't know what to do, Chet. What is that flag? Red, yellow, black? It's definitely not Uruguay, and it's not Argentina. It's not Chile, because that's, yeah, blue, red, and white. Peru is red. Brazil is, like, the most recognizable flag in the world, I'd say. Aside from, like, maybe Canadian and American. 
Japanese. Uh. Oh, there it is. No, that's just straight France. I not a flag. Yeah, it's probably a, so a soccer crest, isn't it? Just had to be sure, though. Avenida Zona 11. Okay, we're gonna go down this way quickly, chat, because I see that they're... I am going the right way now, right? I can't tell. That kind of felt like it turned me around. Where the fuck is this thing taking me? What the shit? Anybody else seeing this? I want to enter this. Okay. So we know going down that way fucks everything. This area is a right mess. We're just going to try and get to somewhere that has something. Because... Could just try going down. What do we got here? Dot com address, Alto Central America, so MX or GT. I'll give Mexico a shot because we're not overly far in. I kind of get the feeling that we're further south, though. Centro Laser Dental. We got McDonald's over there in the distance. I 
because I move forward. I'm surprised in a country like this we actually haven't seen a flag flying anywhere. Also, if I remember correctly, the stop sign that we saw here was Alto, not Pare. If I remember correctly. The has been expecting you. Guatemala, it was Guatemala. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what? Did I misclick Guatemala? I swear to God I clicked on Guatemala. Isn't my flag... Wait. No, the flag is... Where did I put... I didn't click over here. I definitely clicked right underneath where it said Guatemala. What the fuck? I don't even, I can't even right now, chat. I did not click on Honduras. Can we, uh, I almost want to see the clip of that. I'm like so damn sure that I clicked on Guatemala. I've been had, chat. Ah, uh, we got German Darth Vader. All right, well, we know we're working in kilometers, so we're pretty much anywhere in the world. Chat, you're never going to believe this. We're on the planet. And we're driving on the left-hand side. So, I'd say New Zealand or Australia could be a... Well, actually, wait. Ireland drives on the left-hand side, too, don't they? Okay, for me right now, it's between New Zealand or Ireland, and we can't really fucking... It's more likely Ireland, because look at this cloud coverage. I can't see a freaking thing in the sky. We can assume that the sun still exists in this, in this dimension. We just can't confirm it. Or is it South Africa? Frig, it could actually be Africa. Now that I look at the soil and the oranginess of it. Oh yeah. Nope, this is Africa. Okay. Am I right in assuming that we're South Africa, or are we Lesotho, or are we Estwatini? These are now the questions that we ask ourselves. I 
I'd love to have a better idea of what this sign says because that looks like a gun. That is a dog or another animal. That would appear to be an electrified wire sign. Agricole. I mean, it could be Botswana as well. Although I don't think Botswana is gonna be this green necessarily. Yeah, I think Botswana is gonna be a little bit more dry. We see uh, these ranges. Oh, God. The question is, are we inside Estwatini looking towards South Africa right now? Are we in South Africa looking at the more northern point of Estwatini? We've also had a pretty big soil change up. It's gone from like super orange to a more brownie color. Oh, there's some orange over there. Fuck, I'm so bad at fucking deciphering. I'd want to say South Africa, judging by the pavement here. Yo, Lakshmi, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, and how are you doing today? Signs all cursive and very blurred. Not particularly the biggest help. Let's see, if we take a step back here, can we read that a little bit better? I can't tell if that's French or not. Although, I don't think there's any French-speaking African countries that drive on the left, is there? Because what speaks French? Is it Ghana or is it Guinea? Or is it Senegal? I think a few of them do. Doing decent, I guess. Very cursed day. There's been school shooting in an elementary school literally next to the university you go to. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Definitely sucks to hear that... Uh, There was a shooting so close to you. Just sucks that that's still a thing that's even happening. Especially in an elementary school. But I'm doing pretty well. I'm uh, just chilling. It's my borf day, so just hanging out. 
just enjoying the day. First time you've heard of a school shooting happening in Serbia, where you're from? Well, I guess that's unfortunate that it's like one of the first times that that happened. I live in Canada, so I'm pretty close to the States and uh, unfortunately, that's something that happens quite typically, almost weekly. Thirteen-year-old kid murdered ten people? Yeah, that's... That is absolutely crazy. Well, thank you. Well, hopefully... You can just spend the rest of the day kind of decompressing and hanging out, relaxing. We're just taking a little trip around the world, trying to figure out where we're at. Dean Padmerke. No road markings. So I definitely don't recognize the first language, but the secondary language is quite obviously English. It definitely makes me want to lean towards South Africa, the fact that we're seeing English, although I'm sure we'd see English in Lesotho or Eswatini as well. Although wait, starting to get an idea of where the sun is. The sun won't really help us here. Are you allowed to help? Yeah, of course. I can't tell, are those sheep or is that cattle? I think it's sheep. Afrikaans spoken primarily in South Africa? I right, let's load it up for South Africa then. Hell yeah. Okay. House to let. And I got a cheek on. They got a cheek on. And our options are kind of limited. We either go down this way, which doesn't look overly promising, but then again, neither does this way. This is not ale. Wow. Definitely not the biggest church I've seen in my lifetime. I don't think that one's gonna have a bunch of people coming from around the world to check it out, unfortunately. A lot of gates and a lot of fences definitely gives 
a South Africa vibe again, but could be Botswana. I just go. Do, 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 do. Kenya. We're in more than likely Kenya. All right. I think we're out of Africa for now, chat. Is that a Russian plate, or is that possibly a Ukraine? Could possibly be a Ukraine. Or it could even be Greece, I think? Yeah, we're definitely in Greece. Greasy, my duties. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. Do. Alright, so their front plate was very, very blurred out. They have a yellow on the uh, on the back. Judging by these, I would assume we're back in Africa. I think there's a slight possibility that we might be in South America, but no, I'm pretty sure that's Africa. But the question is now, we have an area that either looks like it's been completely burned out or just incredibly dry throughout the year. Which again, it could be this part of South Africa, it could be Botswana. We are left hand drive again. I mean, the nice thing is we know that there's Estwatini and Lesotho definitely aren't this dry. So we just have to pick between South Africa and Botswana. Unless we're in Kenya again.
We're in Kenya. Eventually, we'll run into a sign that'll say, whatever of Kenya. Although, typically, a lot of the African countries are pretty easy to decipher because of that. I find when you don't see a sign stating what country you're in, you're more likely in South Africa, Lesotho, or Eswatini. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. See, is that Afrikaans again? That's just a free-range cow right there, just walking down the road all casual-like, not a, a freaking care in the world. Vasanya Funeral Services. A handshake is a weird logo for a Funeral home. Back with some chips and coke? Oh, nice, dude. Snacking it up. I can respect that. Okay, judging by this kid's color scheme, I would assume South Africa, just based off of that. Kids rocking every color in the fucking. I think I might be just looking too into this kid's wardrobe. Either he's highly colorblind and has no idea what he's wearing right now. Pretty sure he was wearing pink Crocs too. Let's just hold up a minute, go back to that scene here. Yep, pink Crocs. The style on this guy. I wish I could watch him ride a goat. I feel like that would be the entertainment the internet's been dying for. <laughs> Wearing the finest handmade. <laughs> Mom's old shoes and pants, brother's backpack and upper wardrobe. Fuck, this very easily could be Botswana. All we have to go off are wooden huts, little to no grass, and a lot of dryness. They do have electricity. We have confirmed they have 
at least some form of need of electricity. Being the youngest of eight, I'm an expert in hand-me-downs. You were popping the ultimate style, eh? It's not too bad if... Your, your siblings have style. And... They're also the same gender as you. Otherwise... I can assume that you might have hard time putting together a functional set of clothes for the day. <laughs> I don't know. These houses over here don't seem very Botswatini to me. I'd say South Africa is probably a safe bet on this one. We're only three in, so it was Botswana. I had a feeling. I just, I didn't have a feeling that it was quite here. This is an interesting, I mean, we could see all the dead around us, but I couldn't see any of that greenery. Handmade by mom. It's kind of cool to have a mom that can hand make some clothing. It's like a nice hand-me-down to have for your kids as well, because it's kind of like almost becomes an heirloom. I'm pretty sure we're just straight up in Italy, judging by the license plates. I'm hard convinced that this is an easy Itali. Okay. Where does this garbage can belong to? Bick? Is that Greek on there? I think that is Greek. Okay, I'm gonna keep a hard Greek in mind right now, chat. Looks like a triangle. Not a Cyrillic triangle. I would say, judging by the license plate that we just saw as well, all seems very Greek esque to me. Possibly North Greece. I'm gonna just walk in Greece. Living by the seat of our pants today. Oh, it's Chechia. Whoa, 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 wee wow. Colombia? Gotta be Colombia. I keep getting alternating very easy plates, and then... Oh, this could just straight up be Germany. Although, that doesn't look very German to me.
the wealth bar. Well, guess this is my life now. Pharmacia, I would assume Italy. Yeah, Italy again. All right, that's back-to-back -back easy plates now. Germany is big cities. I do we just think this is Jordan? Musi del Gualala. It's not English, so we're not in like the United Emirates. Although we could probably come to that conclusion by the dispersion of wealth in this particular area. I don't think we needed my expert guide and tip to come to that conclusion. So... It's definitely not Israel. I think Jordan. Arabic and Latin alphabet. It is French, yeah. Like that wouldn't be Qatar, right? No, Qatar also looks similar to the United Arab Emirates. It's pretty nice. Tunisia? Where the fuck is Tunisia? I should have looked around a little bit more at license plates and shit. I've never had Tunisia in my life. That is a absolute first. Okay, we're in North Korea. I mean, South Korea. I, I saw you type North and automatically, but yeah, we're in Korea. I don't think there's any coverage in North Korea, so I'm pretty comfortable going South. Seoul. Oh, damn. That's a juxtaposition. I guess we had too many easy ones in a row. They were like, yeah, that's that's not happening again. Get denied, guy. Uh, Caribou. Yeah, I think Caribou. Kiko Rock. Sun Africa. Masai Mara. I mean, I feel like it's pretty safe to make the assumption that this is probably South Africa. I don't know what other African countries... I mean, A, they're advertising a .com. Meaning that... Kenya, 
Eco Rock. Oh, Poggle! Oh my god! We got rays, we got a couple of people. This is a pretty fucking nice aquarium. I wish the rays were more in focus, these little flappy boys. Oh shit. Well, now we get to do what I do best. Masai Mara is in Kenya. Oh shit, we're also in Japan. Okay, this is the easiest one I've gotten all day. Uh. Bueno. Furo. Furo i. Furo a ni mo. Sara ni yo. Yokuga. I don't recognize that kanji. Itadake. Itadake ru. Uh, I want to say that's the kanji for corner. Gago zai. Gago zaimas. Okay, so go zaimas. Interesting. Interesting. I have no. Okay, other viewing spots are in the passage ahead. I would not have expected, because this is the kanji for down. It's not ue, right? What is shita? I want to say shita. Shita no furoe furoa. This isn't the uh, Meguro Parasitological Museum. I wonder which one we are at. I mean, we're in an aquarium now, so I'm having a walk around, because fucking yeah, buddy. I love me a good aquarium. I wish the fish were in focus. <laughs> <laughs> the one shit thing is these fucking fish islands is suck for capturing moving things. They have fucking big ass rays though. Like those are some pretty big boys. Whatever's in this is so small you can't even fucking tell. God, I would do this in a heartbeat. If Google was just like, scope out every aquarium. Oh, I'd be like, oh fuck yeah, bud. I wonder what makes the inside of a building interesting enough for them to scope out the inside for Google. Like, I wonder if I was to go to, like, I, I would assume, like, something like West Edmonton Mall or the Mall of America must have inside coverage, right? Actually seems the faster the fish move as long as they're schooling fish, the easier they are to tell the Look, it's a sunfish. I'd assume these are like balls of sardine. Pretty sure mackerel will get bigger, right? It's interesting that they keep big schooling fish like that in with like I would assume the rays would be predatory and would pick at the net or the uh, bait balls. But maybe they're really well fed. Is this the entrance? Is this back where we were before? I think it is, right? 
Alright, well, we know we're in Japan. Inside coverage, even warehouse coverage in most famous dinosaur museum. In the most famous dinosaur museum in Canada. Just out of curiosity, what is the most famous? Because I live in Alberta and we have the Royal Terrell Museum. I don't know if it's the most famous in Canada, but I do know that Alberta was like. I mean. We have the Albertosaurus, which was a dinosaur that was discovered in Alberta, so... Yeah, there? That makes sense, that makes sense. I've been to the Royal Terrell Museum, it's pretty pug. It is pretty freaking cool. Okay, I think this is New Zealand. The crest. Although, no, wait, that's not a New Zealand Indian plate. Yellow plates. I've never seen yellow plates before. So it invalidates my idea of what we're what we were dealing with, but it's definitely very English. Hooker. Hookers for sale? Fuck yeah, bud. Alright, well you guys sleuth. An Aussie you Alright. I'm gonna quickly use the bathroom and all burbs. New South Wales? Australia sells houses in a unique way. All potential bidders meet at the house. And bidding is done like an auction. Oh, interesting. So what part of us? So you said New South Wales. Oh, okay, there's a white and black plate. I was going to say, so it's weird that... We're not seeing any of the uh, white and black plates, but now we are, so that that changes things. Brisbane. So are the yellow plates that we were seeing there more typical to see close to Brisbane? Los Domingos, Rico Menudo. Do 
do do do do do do do do do do They love Christo. NSW is one of the states. They have yellow plates. Okay, okay. Benito Juarez. Uh, the plates look like they're from the Americas, which doesn't overly surprise me. I was kind of maybe thinking Spain for a minute, but... I think we can direct our direction back out of Spain. I don't think we're in Europa. So, now I want to find a sign and see if we are a party or an alto type country squirt squirt eight oh wait squirt light yeah, chat, don't squirt too heavy. We like a squirter, but... A good squirter knows to simmer down. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> well, chat... We're certainly not in a area where we're getting a lot in the way of business signs. Benito Juarez is a Mexican revolutionary hero. City of Juarez is named after him. All right, well, I'll take Mexico because I don't think we're gonna... Nice. It's a good thing I read that thing about Benito Juarez then. I wouldn't have known that factoid. But that's pretty pog. That's pretty pog. Bus balaz. Or is that Boost Balaz? Thought it said something about hentai there, so I had to zoom in. I'll vote for somebody who supports more hentai. Vote for me, chat, and I'll have censorship removed from hentai. Okay, Zona. I would be leaning towards judging by that. Sweden? Or uh, Poland, sorry. We're gonna stick with Poland for now, but we're gonna keep looking around. 
Oh, I didn't even pay attention to this. Not that it helps me because I don't know what language that is, but Rendor Seg. Rendor Seg. Oh, hungry? Oh, it is hungry. All right, well now we know Rendorseg is police in Hungarian, maybe? Maybe. We, we don't fully know that, we're just assuming. That's a context clue is what we call that, but... Send money, buy airtime data bundle, withdraw money. Something bill. Why does that sound like the biggest scam of all time? Send money, withdraw money. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. Yeah, I don't know, Chief. I don't know. Also, I'm not sure if I necessarily trust a minor surgery to a medical place that does not have a front door. I'm just saying, if you use a curtain to mark your entrance, that is the last place I want to have surgery. Not sure if I'd want HIV testing here either. I feel like this is where you get HIV. I'm not so sold on this here street, chat. Bazakuluba. Bazakulu, is that Afrikaans? <clears throat> Wait, actually, hold up, go back. Tusa Booza. Pusho. Just go back over to the uh, sketch hospital for a second. Weird that the sketch hospital doesn't have any Afrikaans or whatever language. Through the window Creatures lie here Looking through the window How many dialects exist in Africa that are like African born. Oh shit, I've just entered the Twilight Zone. I'm back, but it took a bit of my sanity with it. Back during the Klondike Gold Rush, a guy named Soapy Smith set up a telegraph office in Skagway, Alaska. Made a lot of uh, gullible people, or wait, he made lots of gullible people who didn't notice there was no techograph cables. Man. It's kind of funny to think that even, uh, even back then there was friggin' 
technology-based scams. That is kind of hilarious, in a sense. Kind of sad. Because scam nature certainly has not died down. Deals in human drugs and cosmetics. It's a lot of English, so I mean, I would... Be inclined to think South Africa again. I don't think Botswana. The soil does look about right to be South Africa. Tamika Street. They obviously deal with like Okay, maybe saying that they have ATMs is a little generous. Whatever their phone service. South Africa has 11 official languages. All right, well. That might not help us narrow it down as much as I was hoping it would. Now, I am noticing that we're seeing a lot of yellow plates, which... I don't recognize as being South African plates, necessarily. But, it does seem like we drive on the left-hand side of the road here. Kajansi Alang Buea Airfield. Kajansi Alang Buea. Alang Buea. Is that Botswana? John C. Alang Buea. That does sound particularly familiar. Hearts ignite to the drum. Whoa. Can you? And fight our backs to the wall. Whoa. I know for a fact I've been near this place before. Kakakuma? No. I know, I know I've been there. Is it Nigeria?
I think Ghana is more French, right? This drives me nuts, because I know I've heard of the Along Boya. I've had to use that as a point of reference before. Along Boya. Along Boya. Could it be Estuatini or some shit? Lesotho? Okay, we're just gonna have to keep looking. Uganda Small Scale Industries Association. Uganda. John C. Buea. Fuck it. Yep. Because Buea is a city. It is actually a fucking city. I knew that I've heard of it before. Oh, we're literally just outside of it. Well, well, well. Are we in Arizona? No, we're not. We are hard in the southern hemisphere, it would look like. Somebody once told me that ranked is gonna roll me. I'm better off in quick play instead. I thought that sounds really dumb. Surely ranked is much more fun, so I few thought a gold gun in my head. Well, the assault starts coming and it don't stop coming. Match against three made no Are we back in Africa? Myself that I, play for I fun, see those arrows on the road back there. I think I don't that is an Africa thing. Is your main. I wear a pick for fun attack. Then an assault never look back. Hey now, you're a platinum. Lock your name and go play. Hey now, got you rank up. Got to earn got that, that cool, cool spray. spray. And all my guns will be gold. No one good to rank without, without getting, getting trolled. trolled. My last rank game could not have gone badder. I'm losing each Can't game climb up the ladder. ladder. So to help me get up to Grandmaster, I'm putting out a patch that makes me rank up faster. I wonder if Fuck, is it South I Africa again? Make, make the game worse for you. Do they drive on the left in Kenya too? I haven't been... Yeah, they have been, because... Uh, wait. Now, you're a platinum. 
The last one was Uganda, and they drive on the left. Without getting trolled. Boop, boop, boo doo, boop, 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 boo doo, boo doo. Cool spree. And all my guns will be gold. No one good to break. Without getting trolled. For this one, I honestly would judge that by the newness of the concrete. South Africa or Kenya would probably be the most likely places. I'm also... Could be South Africa. It could be this more dry area closer to Botswana. I feel like this is... This is pavement quality that you would not see in Botswana. Kenya and Uganda are both left hand drive? Okay. First thoughts, Botswana? It could be, but Botswana is significantly more more than Africa, so I have a hard time believing that they'd have resources like this much asphalt. This is a quality road, to be sure. Makes me sad because drive in Canada, there's potholes everywhere. The song is a bit louder than the rest of the playlist. Like, this is a nice road compared to what I'm used to driving on, and I'm supposed to live in one of the richer countries, so... Or I guess the proper terminology, a more wealthy country. Blurred. Dut Louis. And we have no idea. Okay, well, let's try and find Dut Louis in Botswana. It's probably going to be easier to find it in Botswana. Dut Louis, Dut Louis, chat. I'm assuming it's gonna be more southern, Duddlewe. Well, my God, dude, you're right. Big claps, big claps. Duddlewe, eh? And Wolf Hawking. Dude, Botswana's got nicer roads than Canada. Kill myself now. I'm moving to Botswana. I'm assuming I'll be probably pretty wealthy there. Uh, Steffa renovation. 
That looks like it could be French down there. Start this fight. Fight? I'll be honest. I donut. I donut. I donut, Chad. I donut. Architecture, for the most part, seems pretty nice, though. Might want to replace these as their, uh... Well, they've seen better days, to be sure. As nice as that rust dripping down effect looks... Fransu? Fransu Yokusu? Yokusu. Hello and welcome to Did You Know Game? Hello! Today we're looking at Risk Day. I don't think I've watched that to this day. I've had that just sitting in my save folder, and someday I'll watch that video. It's about risque stuff, so I need to know what games to play so that we can get away with having nudity on the stream, but, you know, the way that they meant for it to be on stream through video games. Titties are only cool if they're animated. Well, at the moment, we have not seen any secondary languages. What the flying fuck was that? Hello? Don't do that again. Hey! I have to point out, though, that I've seen several Italian flags. What the fuck? Stop it. Now, that is strange, because I don't see, obviously, any Italian. Luzruleza. Ile de France. Does France actually have similar license plates to Italy? It's been such a while since I've had, like, a central France. I usually get outskirts of France. Oh, that's not a good sign. We're getting a ex... Uh, what are they called again? A uh, fucking... We have a guy. Namely, a police guy. Probably means we're in Ghana. Mount Golgotha. Okay, well, that should be a pretty big landmark. So, let's see if we can find Mount Golgotha. It's either Ghana or Nigeria. France used to have double blue plates, so that's an older plate. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so we want to find Mount Golgotha. We got D 
Stygia National Park over here. Bui National, Mul National. That does not look like a mountain. I would assume... Mount Golgotha is a, bibli a biblical reference? Oh, well. It's gonna make it a lot harder to find on the map then. Does not change the fact, though, that I'm pretty convinced we're either in Ghana or Nigeria. I just don't remember which country has the police ex- um, God damn it, why can't I remember the word? I keep on wanting to call it police export, but I know that is not the word I'm looking for. Unfortunately, we can't get a better look at these signs either. They put us in two weird positions. Arikari? Hmm. And it puts us past that sign, too, so we can't even get a good look at that. Fuck. I want to say it's Nigeria. Nigeria has a police escort. Ghana has tape on one bar of the car. I'm pretty convinced it's Nigeria. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced it's Nigeria. I was just trying to remember which country is more known for piracy and crime, unfortunately. <laughs> Not the best way that you want to get points, but sometimes it's the way you got to get your points. All that shit's either in graffiti or the worst text I've ever fucking seen in my life. So I'm just gonna step away from this guy's car because he's friggin' tacky as all hell, I'll tell you what. Um. It's a real shame. I'm kind of leaning towards Laos on this one. It could be Thailand. And more than likely is Thailand, but I almost... Dang, dang road. It could be Thailand. But I wouldn't hate Laos as an answer. The more I look at the alphabet, though, maybe the more I do not like Laos as an answer. I think we're more... Chiang Mai, Thailand area. Lot Sirak, right? Lot Sirak. Ang Thong. Lot Sirak. I 
probably go to Laos first. As this was the country I had the feeling about. Sirak, Sirak. Even if we can find a couple of different cities that end in a Q, that would make me feel more confident. Just a street sign? I guess you're right. It probably is just a street name, but I like to find little little things like see like Ong and Sao are two things that you see a lot of in Laos or maybe not a lot of but at least enough to like draw a little bit of a pattern there So typically, when I'm unsure of something, I like to see if there's a pattern that I can draw in language. I don't see anything promising between those two countries yet. And maybe even this third country doesn't look like it's gonna draw that specific line that I was hoping to draw. So you may be right. Might not be much point in looking into that. A lot of palm trees, so I know we're not high Laos. Like, there's a good chance that we're probably not more of the northern Laos. The amount of palm trees, it could be Thailand. But, again, the thing with Thailand, they got a lot of English travelers in there. And I feel like, well, you do see this sign has English on it. This one doesn't. We'll try and find inner city, though. See, if I'm being real, I'm speculating Cambodia or Laos now just because Thailand, you would, you would typically see at least a split between English. Maybe not so much in like less rural or areas where they'd be less, less likely to uh, get... Um, uh, foreigners, but I don't know. This seems like it's a area where people are living for sure. And I would say with like how clean things, I mean, that's the other thing, how clean it looks on the side here. This is clearly being tended to. It's clearly a field of crops which does lead me back to Thailand quite honestly I'm very torn I'm very torn I don't know which way to lean on this one This also does have English on it, so now I'm starting to come back towards Thailand. But then literally no English on this. But the other thing I'm looking at is just the general wealth in the area. I, I get the sense, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I get the feeling like out of the three countries that are using this 
phonetics. I'd say Cambodia is most likely the most poor of the three countries. Laos is the second, and then Thailand has the largest amount of um, foreign travel, I feel like, so I feel like they're probably the richest. But, I could be entirely mistaken on that. Obviously, this looks like it's like some anti-malaria bullshit to prevent Moscatoes. It's illegal in Thailand to say anything negative about the king, but I'm not there, so I can say he's a D-bag. At the beginning of the pandemic, he fled to a private hotel in Switzerland with 20 concubines. I won't lie to you. If that was an option during COVID times for me, I would have probably done the same. <laughs> all in all, that doesn't sound terrible. A lot more fun than just sitting around for two years straight. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, if him and I were to compare notes, he'd probably have more interesting stories to tell. Okay, now that we're looking at this, I'm fairly convinced this is just straight up Thailand. Gotta be. This is like a really nice area. Is, but we're out in a very thick forested area. I would assume Nordic right off the bat. Northern Europe more than likely, but maybe not. That is not a European plate by the look of it. Ma -na 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 -na. Certainly not English. Can't quite tell if it's Cyrillic, though. But these do look like the Romania slash Hungary. The, like, normal way that they set up their electrical shit, so... Probably more Eastern Europe. Could be Romania, to be honest. Bulgaria. That is interesting. Green and yellow. I don't know what that means, chat. I don't know what that means. Finland? No, not Finland. Definite Cyrillic. I think green and yellow. That's Ukraine, isn't it? That's Ukraine's newest plate, I want to say. I'm 
we'll put on Ukraine for now because I'm pretty confident that's a brand new. It's definitely not Russia. I know there is a way to differentiate between Russian Cyrillic and Ukrainian Cyrillic. Ukraine is blue and yellow? Oh, okay. So it's not Ukraine. So then what else uses Cyrillic that has similar plate to that? Bulgaria? Could be Bulgaria because judging by the electronic infrastructure, the only other place that it could be would be Hungary or... Yeah, none of these use Cyrillic. It's gotta be... It's gotta be Bulgaria then. Unless it's North Macedonia and I'm a fucking idiot. What do you think? What do you think? Bulgaria or North Macedonia? Am I gonna get outplayed by the NM again? North Macedonia gets me every time. But these houses, they look too nice to be North Macedonia, don't they? Like maybe I'm generalizing a little bit too much on this one but also could be a faded plate or a bad camera in Ukraine could be that too uh blue and yellow I'm going yeah I'm going with Ukraine it's a good thing we swap back It is a good thing we swapped back. Uh, probably Philippines. If I were to guess. Pakai Sopir, La Paz, Kunki. Ah. Could be that we're seeing a little Indo. La Paz Kunki. Uh, does that sound... I don't know. That actually doesn't sound... Philippi or, uh, sorry, not Philippine. Um, Indonesian to me. Indo. Assuming the rest of that word is, yeah, Indo market. I'm saying Indo here, chat. That's not an Indo flag, though. That's a Malay... No, that's not a Malaysia flag. Is that a Filipino flag? Philippines was my first guess. Olimatikya... I don't know, there's something. I'm walking in Indo because, yeah. I wasn't confident in that one though. I wasn't 100% sure if that actually looked Indonesian to me. 
The one word that I like can recognize from Indonesian very easily is botak. Botak. Um, Gerano Los Caminos in Chile, it would seem. Unless that is the biggest fake out of all. Yeah, no, okay. Had to be sure, Chad. I wasn't... I don't know. Sometimes they try and fake you out. A little bit of that deep fake action, you know? Parna Perkovakia. Pervaki. Pervaki. French chat? I don't think that's French. Possible Polish? Bus Cordon Rio. Oh shit. One sec, chat. I gotta mute again. I gotta call. I feel like the trans bus we see a lot in Switzerland. But Romania. Romania. Why am I looking at Africa when... Okay, Romania was one of my guesses, to be honest. But we also have, yep, the Romanian flag right behind. Alright. Oh, 
Hooray! More than likely, Africa again. Oh. For the first time in a long ass time, we're driving on the right hand side of the road, too. It's got a Mitsubishi, don't he? Can't quite make out what it says on the side of the vehicle there, unfortunately. He's a man on a mission. And his mission is to not let me read the deets. Oh, well, this makes it more difficult. What's an African country that's got coverage and drives on the right-hand side of the road? We can rule out all the regulars. Ghana drives on the right-hand side, I'm pretty sure. I think transportation plates are different as well, so... We got cattle. It's another one that's like, it's either gotta be the more western side of South Africa or Botswana. Top portion of Nigeria, but I don't think we have a police transport escort. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Yeah, we don't have a police export, so we're not escort. God damn it. Uh, and then I don't... Senegal does have coverage. But we're pretty far south, it would look like. That is not... Okay, I thought that was a giraffe for a second. It is, in fact, a log. But I had to be sure. Also, I had to be sure that that was not a lion. I thought... From a distance, I thought that was a lion, so... We haven't seen any cool wildlife driving through Africa yet, though. It's been cows and sheep, dudes. No dingoes eating people's babies or nothing. Selov.net. Fuck. Selovvacations.com. Thing. That does sound like South Africa, I think.
Middle pits. Ah, man thing, man thing, man thing. Lots of bergs in South Africa. Huh. Don't know about this one, chat. I don't freaking know. Kenya. In a sense, Kenya's kind of got, like, the best chance of it. But then again, Kenya's got Naguru. So, similar idea in the fact that they got Jinx or whatever here. But it really... Jink or Manfing. Jink or Manfing. This one is a hard one to tell, chat. Very, very difficult. Yo. I'm just gonna get things started. Even though there's an ad. <laughs> I'm going with it. I'm feeling like a menace. All right, chat. 
It's time to get jiggy with it. Mmm. There it is. That unique spice. That flavor you can only get in whatever country we're in right now. Yes. This country. Reckon it's Africa again. I think we established... We do drive on the right-hand side. Oh, right. We had seen this. Can't tell if that says urgence. Dream where I just rate people's drip in Africa. I want to rate the African drip, you know, make a tier list. We just need to com make a, a list of like the best African drip out there, chat. That's the stream everybody has been waiting for. Boom, funny, funny. Horse is not looking too good. Might be a little too lean there, bud. Do do do. Hmm, chat. Botswana, but we don't drive on the right hand side of the road in Botswana. I highly doubt this is not going to be a country that readily has web addresses available for us to just scope. Inflammable. It's pretty much just is a fancy way of saying it's flammable. Oh yeah, right. Sell of. I can't look into that too deeply, because that might just be saying random words. That looks like a scrolling thing to me.
but Jinx or Jinx or Mon Thing. See, I would say that sounds more Asian. Okay, this kind of slaps. We're also in a super dry area, so... I love this playlist. It brings the damn. The damn. Damn. Although we know Kenya and Uganda are also... Okay, so we can rule those out. <sighs> Could be Nigeria. No, it can't be Nigeria. We don't have police. Senegal? Either that or I'm looking in, like, the way wrong areas. Yo, Solidus! Thank you, man! How are you doing today? I appreciate you swinging on by for my birthday, dude. Dude, I'm pretty good. Went and grabbed some dinner this evening. I'm nice and full on Chinese food, so I'll never, uh, I'll never complain when I've been eating some good food there, brother. Now I'm just having a relaxing evening. Otherwise, I, I figure take a day on God of War just to enjoy my birthday. <laughs> Go to a strip club. I'm not sure if we're going to find one where we're at right now. We're, we're somewhere in Africa. I just don't know where. Although I do see a DG, so, or a, a DJ. I'm feeling kind of confident on Senegal. I know this is a kind of big risk, but I think Senegal might be the play. Resident Evil 5 territory? Where does Resident Evil 5 take place? Is it... Do they, like, name an actual country? Isn't it Ghana?
I'm super curious to know if the cell dweller is just like one group of artists or if this is like a combination of different artists. They definitely give me Slipknot vibes. They just do whatever the fuck they want and make music, and I dig that. I respect what they're up to. I feel like Senegal is probably best bet here. So have you been playing Resident Evil 4's remake, Mikey? Is zooming. Fucking zooming, brother. I mean, judging by this guy's toque, those are pretty Senegalian colors. Could be Jamaica as well, but I don't know where even is Jamaica. If I'm being totally honest, chat, I have no idea where Jamaica is. It's an island though, isn't it? Jamaica is part of Africa, isn't it? Or is it part of South America? Oh, okay, it is part of South America. I don't know why I thought it was Africa. All right, well then, uh, I'm confidently going with Senegal because of that dude's toque. Fuck yeah, dude. Believe in the power of the toque. So you beat four remake a couple of weeks ago. What are your thoughts? Is it better than 3 Remake? Because I'll be honest, I love the 2 Remake. I was kind of underwhelmed by the 3 Remake. So I'm like on the fence. Like I want to hope that 4, 100 times better than 3. Okay, that's good to hear. Yeah, 3 was kind of disappointing. Because the original 3 is by far my favorite Resident Evil. You like three, but never played the original? I like the original a lot more. Honestly, I thought that the addition of dodging kind of ruined the game. Because so many situations that would have been scary because of lack of movement actually became a lot less scary knowing that you could just dodge out of the way of everything <clears throat> so I was not particularly big on the dodge in that game I think Leon has like a, a dodge in 4 originally right in the original 4 but also enemies were like hella mobile actually no he didn't have a dodge in the original four, did he? Guess they were like, Jill is a woman and she needs to dodge. I don't know what their reasoning was. I really don't. I 
orange? Where the fuck are we? We're not in Europe as far as I can tell. Or wait, are we? No. <clears throat> On Dead Island 2 and Jedi Survivor, whenever it's playable. What are you going to be playing, um, uh, Jedi Survivor on? Are you playing it on PlayStation? I saw this plate over here, and I speculated Australia or New Zealand, but judging by the street signs, that's definitely not the case. And what are your thoughts on Dead Island 2? I've seen a little bit of gameplay. It looks good, but it doesn't quite look as good as Dying Light. Gotta be South America, right? Dead Island 2 is great, better than Dying Light 2. Now, are you saying that like from a story perspective or like gameplay wise or both? So I think like the parkour in Dying Light 2 is like what makes the game so fun. I know there's like drop kicks. Just the sheer gore and the weapons. That is the one thing that I do kind of remember from the original Dead Island is that there was quite a big option for different weapons. Take a little trip down this way and see if we see anything useful. Dying Light story is better though. Yeah, I mean like most zombie hack and slash games. They usually have a gimmick aside from like the actual story to get you invested like For Dying Light, it's the parkour. For the majority of... Um, oh, what's the one that you're like on a time limit? You're in a mall. That one is definitely like based around the characters and their quirks. What's his nuts being a photographer? Sushi Ceviche. Sounds like an interesting restaurant. They have a lot. That Island 2 is basically a parody of zombie movies and games, so it sticks to its formula. Dead Rising, hate those games because of that time limit. 
I mean, the time limit does suck, but... Pretty sure once you beat the game, don't... They remove the time limit or some shit, and you can, like, actually go around and explore. I really can't pin where we are. The plates kind of look European-esque, but where else speaks Spanish? Like, I don't think it's the Philippines. No, it's definitely not the Philippines. Don't quote me on that, but I, I'm pretty sure that once you beat the game, you get to, like, explore. Like, the only truly, truly amazing zombie game... I IMO is still to this day um, The Last of Us. I mean, obviously Resident Evil like has good stuff, but it's just it's obviously not of the same quality as The Last of Us. Resident Evil always have that level of corny, whereas The Last of Us, they just like... They somehow did it so perfectly. I mean, as a, just like a big biologist fan in general, like the way that they introduced Cordyceps as the like cause of the outbreak, I was like... Oh, bugger me, that's the fucking most brilliant idea ever. Whoever... Whoever the man is behind that, what an absolute friggin' legend. Oh, wait. Am I... Here, let me... One sec. We were having issues with head pads the other day, so I had to... Turn it off. Wait, actually. Wait. even is it under head pats is a browser source the real question is whose head are you going to pat yo doobity uh, what is up how you doing, brother? Mexico? It could very well be. I'm like super lost on this one. But give me a moment just to uh, see if this is working. What is that? Head pads. Uh, something is going on with their website the last couple of days. I don't know why, but trigger fire seems to be a little fucked at the moment. 
I don't know if somebody is overloading the server. But yeah, it seems like Bonk is just unbonking right now, unfortunately. It's a slightly safer stream for me, but unfortunately, no bonk. Yeah. The other day, there was some other issues going on. Hold up. Wait, I guess I should pause to check myself first. I'll hydrate for real as well. Ah, yeah. Sunny D, that's the true fluid of gamers. Gamer subs just doesn't do it the same way as Sunny D. Waiting for your power aid to get cold? Oh brother, you, you're waiting for your electrolytes, eh? Big fan of them electrolytes. I can respect it. I don't know. Is it Mexico? Do you typically see bins like that in Mexico? I am. Uh, I've never been so lost in my life. But in theory, we should be in the Southern Hemisphere. Argentina? Could be, but the plates don't look right. The plates don't look right for like anywhere in South America is what's weird about this. Let me try and find some plates. Behind the fences are kind of useless to us. We wanna, we wanna have some unfiltered. See, that doesn't look like a sign that you typically see in the Americas. And then, oh, I won't be able to get behind this guy to see his plate, will I? Also a weird amount of sushi and Chinese food restaurants in this area for some reason. Doesn't feel like your normal thing for South America. Contact those, but that's like, that's definitely Spanish. Or I mean, it could be Portuguese as well. Could be Spain. S 
Super Bodega. Quinta. Let's see if I can get like a good look at some of these plates. It's the one thing, like no matter where I go in this city, I haven't been able to get a good shot of a plate. Bienvenidos. Chili, maybe. I mean, judging by a sun position, yeah, it would stand to reason we are in the southern hemisphere, so I'd say Europe is pretty safely ruled out. We saw a singular Columbia plate, but this is definitely not Columbia. Noviembre. Is that Portuguese or is that Spanish? I don't think that's how November is spelt in Spanish. So I'm kind of leaning towards Portuguese, which might mean that we're just straight up in Brazil. Maybe getting out of the city is the way, and maybe we'll actually see, well, A, more traffic. Although that guy's license plate doesn't help us either. A Quinta is a Chilean store. I'll see if I can pick up a bit more intel here and then we might lock in for Chile. home designs if this is chilly like they have these barn looking structures that kind of look like they're duplexes one thing I can tell you is whatever city we're in right now I don't think I've ever been here before That way, wrecking chat, or do I want to keep going down this road? Oh, that was a flag for a second. I was gonna say, holy shit, we're in Peru. Colombian plate right there. But then again, it might just be a plate because of it being like a public transportation vehicle.
Ropa Americana. I honestly can't tell, chat. Does that say, like, urgent... It looks like Arjun something. But we can't get any closer to this sign. Well, we can. Oh, America. Or American or some shit. Well, at least it does confirm that we are in the Americas somewhere. I didn't even know that for the longest time, Chad. Maybe chili, but I don't want to just, like, take a risk on a brand that I don't really know. No! This one is actually, like, surprisingly hard considering how much stuff is around, too. I'm trying to think of an area that would have... A three-digit area code, but eight numbers as well in the phone number. This is definitely one of the strangest that I've come across, because it doesn't have your typical South American vibe to it. But they just straight up... What? Wait. What language do they speak over in... Where is it? Bermuda. Could it be Bermuda? No, it can't because they're driving on the right-hand side of the road. This one is, like, the first one in a long time that's really racked my brain. Like, usually, even in, like, Africa, in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, you'll find something that'll, like, somewhat help. But Verde... only confirms that this is Spanish. There is a surprising amount of Spanish in South America. Yeah, the orange and the yellow plate, I'm pretty sure, are marking taxis. So that's not a legit Columbia plate. Where has orange plates? It's gotta be... It's got to be one of these islands. So is it Guatemala? I know Dominican Republic and Guatemala have coverage. Those are my first two guesses. Because, like, there's the other thing about that roundabout that we were at. It's like, that was not an N.A. American sign. So we gotta kind of think outside of the box. It's, it's probably a very random...
country, or it's a country that I've seen a hundred times and I'm just being an idiot. That's almost a perfect view, but you know what that plate looks like to me? That looks like an Australian plate. I've no fucking idea what that means. Been there, never seen neighborhoods like that. I've also been to Dominican Republic, but like I've been to a resort side, so I don't know if like, I, I mean, the reason that I would say, oh no wait, that's Dominica, not Dominican. The reason that I would say that is because like, because I was only Punta Cana, so like I was way over here, never went more inland. But I mean, I know that they have at least a decent amount of money. This place, this looks like a country that's like, it's got financial stability at the very least. There in Santo Domingo. So I'm, I'm just kind of trying to think outside of the box when it comes to like plates that I don't necessarily recognize. Like we're in a very, very strange circumstance here. And because we're about to hit the 20, I do want to keep that goodness alive, you know? Illustri Municipal de Valdivia. The Los Rios. Oh, it is Chile. You were right. This is a very... Why do the plates... Because... In previous times being in South America, the America plates... The Americas have similar plates. I don't know why they look so fucked up. I've even been in Chile before. I just, I didn't recognize those plates at all. All right, well, we've hit the 20 streak. We're back in Europia. Could be just about anywhere, to be honest, chat. Let's try and narrow it down to not anywhere. Brinkage. Mm, doesn't necessarily help us break it down just quite yet. But I would say... Is that a country flag right there? Oh, it is. Sweden? No, not Sweden. Norway? No, not Norway. Uh, Denmark? Yeah, Denmark. I knew it was one of the ones with the colors and the stripes that, you know, you know, one of those ones. We make our way around. We get there eventually. I know there's only a holy sweet monkey dick. Okay. I don't, oh, wait, actually, never mind. Iceland? Is 
It's either Iceland or Greenland. Maybe it's neither. Western Ocean. It can't be Russia, then. Well, I guess that's a lie. Could be Northern Russia, but... Northern Russia's pretty unoccupied, right? I also don't think that their northern ocean would look like this. I don't know, Chad. Do we look like we're in a locale that would probably be frozen most of the year? I don't think. That's why I'm kind of leaning towards Iceland. <laughs> Certainly, ah, oh, there's a vehicle going the other way. What do we have here? What the fuck? One, uh, one second. All right, not Iceland. Arabic, indeed. Indeed. Arabic. We got ocean. Out here alone. Turkey? Lost in your Does Turkey use Arabic at all? Or no? Your is me, leads me Can't be Israel, right? Would it be... No, I don't think it would be Jordan. Akaba. Yo, Flag! Welcome in! Moving country streak? Indeed it is, my friend. We're just playing for the... The lulls. Relaxing, getting to kind of see some countries. Get a better understanding of the world. So, Akaba is a pretty good hint here. Unfortunately... Wait, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Uh, the angle's all off. You always play no moving? So you got those big skills, eh? Wait, could that just be the 65P that we're looking for? Could that be... Okay, Aqaba and water to the west. But it's a canal. I'm like, we can see land, so if we look west from wherever we are. We can see across the canal. Could it be Jordan? Do you think we're just at this, like the West Bank?
Aqaba is the southernmost city in Jordan. Wait, not Saudi Arabia. It really is. It is Aqaba. Okay, so then we're over here looking across this canal. Well deduced, my dudes. A pog to you, uh, and a pog to you. Okay, we could assume that we're probably pretty southern. Southern as the wind blows. Brazil, maybe? Or... Let's not jump the gun here. KG317. We're dealing with some nice houses and a lot of razor wire. Okay. I respect it. Well, seeing the razor wire, I'm kind of thinking maybe Africa now, to be honest. Oh, we're in the back of a fucking truck. I'm pretty sure that's an Africa thing, isn't it? Wait, are we in Colombia? I think that's Rwanda. Rwanda, eh? Rwanda. And this is where I'd keep Rwanda if I knew where Rwanda was. Okay, we've got Uganda now. Yeah, I don't, I don't play the meta though. So typically, when like somebody's like, "Oh, you're in this, this, this vehicle," I usually that's like the kind of information that I don't really store away in my brain. Your cursor's on it. Wait, really? Oh, I always forget how small Rwanda is. Uh, Thailand? Or are we in the Philippines? Could be the Philippines. Definitely in Asia, chat. Indo, maybe? Oh, wait, back it up. What is that flag? Okay, well, we know that now it is one of the three countries, Cambodia, Thailand, or Laos. It's not the Thailand flag, and it's definitely not Cambodia, but it's not Laos either. Uh, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it's Thai pools? Oh! Oh, so Thailand has probably got the best electrical infrastructure. That does make sense. That makes a lot of sense.
I'm picking up what you're putting down there, feller. All right, we got wheat being bailed, or hay over there being bailed, I should say. What kind of language are we looking at? Intrada prohibida, excepto. Is that Italian? Kind of sounds Italian, right? I don't know, I see a lot of zuz and stuff like that. Maybe it's Catalan. And which countries would be speaking Catalan? Catalanic? Catalanese? Spain? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jocano and Ariano. Well, it definitely is an Italian. We got the A3316. Let's see if that runs through Spain here. We got the A14. 40, so we're already off to it. There's an A133. The A242. Would this be more... There's CV, which is not what we're looking for. Okay, let's try taking this CM. I like the possibility. Oh, we can't back out and keep that. Okay. Let's just have a quick look around. Portugal to see if we have okay we have CM we have M Everybody's saying Spain Oh yeah, we would have had to have zoomed in pretty goddamn close, apparently. Okay, I just wasn't zoomed in enough to even see. <laughs> so that is just an indicator of a very, very dead area. Uh... Iceland chat? Iceland. Icelandic baller and terrain? Yeah, with Iceland, I'm pretty good at uh, picking up the terrain. Wait, is this Singapore? Wait, wait. No, it's not Singapore. This is going to be a lot of ads. Oh, yeah. You're in for the long haul, doobie. I do three minutes every hour rather than breaking up 
segments of the stream, so... Unfortunately, you're gonna have to stick through the three minutes of ads. Espana. Which is just straight up Spain, right? Don't worry, I won't proceed until you guys are back from ad break. Yo, Umberl, thank you, man. How are you doing today, brother? All right. Now that ads are done, first question, where is Dot Cat? What does that pertain to? And then Venda de Petards. That sounds like a mix between French and Spanish. Like, that looks French. Catalina Island? Where's Catalina Island? Catalan, Catalan, so... It's It's not this, right? No, that's Andorra. Where's Catalan? Direct me from where my cursor's sitting right now on the map. Am I going east or west? Oh, you just think it's straight up Spain? Because, yeah, okay, if we go back to our start point. Get out of the way, you're ruining everything. Oh, shit. People these days, standing in front of stuff. So we have HBO España, which definitely made me believe, you know, this is probably Spain. But yeah, man, I'm doing pretty good. Had a pretty solid day today, bro. Just been enjoying it. Got my insurance stuff done for the most part yesterday. At least all the studying shit, so... Before submitting my sponsorship, I just want to see if they intend on paying for the licensing. Because that'd be pretty pog, I'm not going to lie. I would be like, gosh. I'm 
just gosh. Just gosh. Some interesting little houses we have going on here. A lot of cloud cover. Everybody has got fences and gates around their property, which usually is a sign they're trying to keep something out. This guy's got the fucking most modernized house. This is like some Minecraft shit right here. This guy was playing Minecraft and designed his dream house. And you know what? I respect that. What an absolute legend. You live your best life. Now, you know, it'd be fantastic, chat, getting an idea of what, you know, continent we're on. We're on the European continent. In fact, that's a Portuguese plate right there. Ah, it's Portugal, potentially. Imagine if all those houses had to be designed in Minecraft, half of all houses would be dirt. Most houses also would not fare well in Canadian winter, as having a flat roof would be a pretty damn good way to, like, die via cave-in. I'd love to see the person who has to live in the houses that I've designed. I have, like, literal houses designed in trees with, like, pandas and shit. I would oversee the, like, the building of the house, and I'd be like, no, 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 no. The pandas were not optional. You must have a full-on panda enclosure in the tree that's literally made of nothing but leaves. Figure it out. Figure it out. I don't think we really need to look around anymore. I'm fairly confident this one is Porichigual. Porichigual. Considering most of my houses, the door is iron and you have to press a button above the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's actually kind of poggy woggies, though. <laughs> what about the people who have, like, built their house with mob spawners? You'll have to constantly listle, listen to the crackling of skeleton bones walking around. That's part of the ambiance of living here. I'm sure you understand. Okay. This looks like it's more than likely... Either Cambodia... Or no, sorry, not Cambodia. What's the one beside... East India, India, Bangladesh. I would assume we're in one of those two countries. Or it could be Sri Lanka. We could be Cambodia, you think it's Cambodia?
Let's see if we can find the name of whatever we're in, because that'll definitely help us. North Macedonia, not this time, brother, most likely, I hope. All right, what do we have here? So we definitely have the Indian dialect. Okay, so yeah, it's either India or Bangladesh. Banging in Ladesh. Probably not. The building at a glance looked like it. No, now we can confirm that we are definitely... It's either India, Bang, or Shri. I would say India is the most likely to come across English as a second language. Or not a second language, but you know, having the English... The Roman alphabet. I can see that being a more India thing. I want to get more over that way, because I get the feeling that's where the exit slash entrance is. Call me a mad lad. A lot of the times when you come into the entrances of these as well, it'll tell you exactly what it is. And usually with that knowledge comes a lot of power. Like being able to look at the map and see exactly what country we're in. Okay, we can go that way. Which does look Rang Mahal. Mumtaz Mahal. Taj Mahal is in India, right? Where is the Mahal chat? I want to say India. It's not Sri Lanka. There's no way it's Sri Lanka, right? Gonna make a wild guess and say Pakistan because it's never Pakistan. I don't think it's gonna be Pakistan in this instance either because Pakistan Islamic. Yeah. Yeah, we're not dealing with the Islamic vocab or uh, not vocab, but alphabet. I don't know. This way seems like it's more likely to lead to the exit. Which is going to give us the most information that we can bring in. India? That's definitely where I'm leaning towards. I think it's got to be India. Because, I mean, I feel like Bangladesh would be more on the map if that's where the Taj Mahal is. It's gotta be India. In fact, we're like in New Delhi. Rang Mahal? Yeah, 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 yeah. Taj Mahal? I'm assuming Mahal is a very Indian word. There's a couple of other words that like almost clinched it in my mind. Is this another Iceland? Or wait, are we High Finland? This might be High Finland.
No, no, it could be Iceland. I mean, sorry, Greenland. No, Iceland. See if we can find Axis' house. I don't think we will, unless he moves to either Greenland or Iceland. I think we're in one of the two. In fact, I'm pretty certain I've been on this exact road before. He's in Europe, we'll find him eventually. We've probably driven past his house a few times. Next time we're in Finland, we'll do an extra long drive and we'll wave by everybody's house. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're not on the actual content, uh, continent of Europe. So chat, it really comes down to, are we on Iceland or Greenland? Cause it's kind of a fucking... I know Greenland is usually more covered. Does anybody live on Greenland? That's a good question. I think we've had, like, legitimately been on Greenland once or twice, though. Like, I'm pretty sure. There was one time that I even chose Denmark, but it actually ended up being Greenland, but because I chose Denmark and Greenland is owned by Denmark it actually it all still worked out because it's one country dumbass Trump was trying to buy Greenland from Denmark what's he gonna do with Greenland I hope he just freezes to death if he does it. Fuck, it was! There's your answer. People do, in fact, live on fucking Greenland. Just a mile high wall around all the country. <laughs> Fuck! We almost hit 30 again. Oh, it's already 945. What did you miss? I was debating whether or not we were on Iceland or Greenland for the longest time, and I I went Iceland. I went Iceland, man, and it was a near miss. It was a near miss, dude. Only if Mexico is paying for the wall. <laughs> I bet you if Mr. Beast made an offer, Denmark would think about it. At least giving him like a section of Greenland. Um, we should do a little Japanese here. Probably nuke with that silver Google car. It was a silver Google car now that you mention it. 
don't know. Finland and Ice, or sorry, Iceland and Greenland are two countries that have very similar grass and like rock structures. So I I I know in the past I was even saying like. I've lucked out in the past with Greenland because I thought it was Denmark. So I chose Denmark and still got the points for it being Greenland. But yeah, there's a there's a couple of times that I've now had to make the choice between Iceland and Greenland. And it almost seems like Iceland is actually the country that's less inhabited than Greenland. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I've been up this one road that we failed on before. Quarselic. Quarselic. New swack. Yeah, good old new swack. I love it. Yeah. I'm Pretty sure we've been in this area. Old Nuck. So yeah, we were close to Nuck. It's kind of hard to, like, go off of their license plates, too, because Iceland, Greenland have pretty similar license plates as well 340 exp off of that and we got another like 340 earlier we're just raking in fat exp chat but i'm gonna do a little duolingo to wrap the stream out tonight because it is a weekday so i do have to stick to normal stream times but on Saturday, I'll probably do some kind of birthday type thing with uh, perhaps some like little goals along the day. And then I don't know what my plan is for tomorrow. I was saying this earlier, I don't necessarily want to start up Jedi Survivor because we're still in God of War mode. But it also does not necessarily make sense to play God of War on May 4th. May the 4th be with you. So I'm thinking I might just reinstall Lego Star Wars. What did I even... Did I purchase that on Steam? What did I have that on? The Skywalker Saga... Oh, okay, we do have that on Steam. Okay. I have to reinstall it, but that's not too big of a deal. Or we really fuck with things tomorrow and play Lego Hobbit for no reason. Just recently started playing Lego Star Wars again. Would be fun to go through a couple of the the chapters of the game. Could see that being a good time, something we could do tomorrow. Uh Duolingo chat. Duolingo. Cause it's either that <clears throat> Or, I mean, there's the Star Wars MMO, but Star Wars MMO is, like, definitely an MMO that's designed to be played with people. Other than that, I don't really know what Star Wars games I have that could be beat in a day. I don't really want to buy... Wait, oh god, I have so many Star Wars games, but, like, none of them could be beat in a day. I have Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. And then I have the Knights of the Old Republics 1 and 2, which definitely 
are not beatable in a day. Fuck. They're way harder than I remember them being on Xbox, too. Like, I started playing it on PC, and I got my cheeks clapped. Which one exactly? Jedi Knight. Jedi Academy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one where you actually can, like, create your own character, right? Yeah! I don't think that one's beatable in a day, honestly. Just watch Star Wars on stream? Not a chance Disney would DMCA that. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would. And they'd enjoy it, too. They'd giggle about it. Z Z uh, Iekara. Ie. Kara. Toi. Des. Ah, the house is far from here. Oh my god. Fukoki? Ikoki. Yeah, right, right, right. Ikoki. Ikoki. Uh, da, 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 da. What is okay? Han is book. Han. Tori is verb. Tori. Ski is like. Ski. Nihon is Japan. Kuko is Kuko. airport. Right, 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 right. Kono basu wa osoi desu yo. Kono Kono basu wa. Basu. Osoi desu yo. Osoi desu yo. Osoi desu yo. This bus is slow, you know. Osoi. Shizu. Shizu. Inu. Inu. Ah, itsu. Itsu. Uh, itsu is when. Chikatetsu is subway. Kagami is mirror Kagami? and uh uh kitanai. Kitanai, kitanai. is dirty. Chikaku mo toku mo nai desu. Chikoku mo Chikaku toku mo toku mo toku mo nai desu. Nai desu. Neither near nor for chart. Chart. Takushi. Takushi. Um. Uh, eh? Oh, wait. Tetsu. Tetsu. Right, right, right. Tetsu is iron. Ipun? Ipun. Um. Ima? Ima? Ya? Ya. And. Kaisha. Kaisha. Is work. Chikai. <coughs> Chikai. Shikai. It's different, right? Shikai. Wait. Uh, Shikai is near close. Close. Okay. <coughs> Hayaku mo osoku mo nai desu. Hayaku mo osoku mo nai desu. It's neither fast nor slow. Uh, yeah, we should probably... It is neither fast nor slow. <laughs> it fast nor slow. Sakuna. Sakana. Sakana. Uh, Kino is yesterday. Kino. Yasai. 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 Genki. Genki. And... 
空港。空港。そのバスは小さいです。No, that bus is small. Gakko is school. Uta song. Uta. Uh, tenpura. 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 Jitensha is bicycle Jitensha. and ie. It's nido. 電車遅くないですか電車遅くないですか遅くない。Is the bus slow? くないですか Can be used as late. Okay, okay. Train station, Eki, 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 Yekara Eki Made Arukimas. No, I'll protect nothing. I live by the seat of my pants, Chad. <coughs> Select the correct characters for Zaitaku. 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 Um, Zaitaku is at home, right? It's chilling at home, which is kind of a weird word to mean an entire phrase, but being at home, yeah, 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 Mado, Mado, is mirror. Uh, Shujin is head of Shujin. household. Narai is lessons. Be, be, ho, 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 ho. Dude, I can't believe Seattle beat Dallas in a game where. One player on Dallas scored four goals. Kanajo wa watashi no musume. That's just, that's nutty to me. I think they've also scored more goals on Ottinger than like pretty much every team that's played. Uh, Dallas so far has managed to score in the playoffs. Ra! Na! Poo! 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 Uh, Boku? Boku, Boku. is I. Osue, right? Shigai. Shigai is far. And then. Sofu is Sofu. grandfather, right? Sofu? Or is that grandma? Grandfather. Okosan tachiwa o ikutsu desu ka? Okosan wa o ikutsu, o ikutsu. Okosan tachiwa o ikutsu desu ka? Oh wait, okosan tachiwa. Tachi. Wa oiku oikutsu oikutsu okosan tachi wa oikutsu desu ka desu ka desu ka um how old are your children itte kimasu itte kimasu i'm off itte kimasu Sobo wa hachiju gosai desu. Hachi wa hachi. Wait. Sobo wa hachiju gosai desu. Sobu. So. Soba wa. Sobo wa. Sobo wa. Hachiju gosai desu. Right? Sobo wa hachiju gosai desu. Sai desu. My grandma is 
85 years old. ご主人はご在宅ですかご主人はご在宅ですか Is your husband at home? Is your husband at Honda? おばあさんはおいくつですかおばあさんはおばあさんおいくつですかおいくつですか How old is your grandmother? 奥さんはご在宅ですか奥さんはご在宅ですか奥さんはご在宅ですか奥くあーマーマンバックあーお母さんただいまおかただいまただいま He has four siblings 彼は Okay, this one I need to. Kare wa. Kare wa. Yonin gaimas? No. Kore wa. Kyo dai. Is it Kyo dai? Kyo dai. が4人いますが4人いますこれは兄弟が4人います She has five siblings 彼女は彼女は Wait, no What is sibling? Is sibling just kill die? No, 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 no. Is it? Kanojo, uh, Kanojo, kill die. Gagoninimas. 兄弟が五人います。Oh, we're coming for those top slots there, buddy. I could level this up. We could go crazy with it. I have sixty-six. Rubes. We could pretty much master an entire subject. But maybe we save that for a more difficult subject. Oyogi. Oyogi. No way. Oyogi. Oyogi. Swimming. 映画はあまり見ません。映画は。映画。あまり見ません。映画はあまり見ません。あまり見ません。うん。映画はあまり見ません。I do not watch many movies. で。is hand. で。走りません。走りません。走りません。I don't run. Shashin, 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 Ru, Ru, Ega, Ega, Ki, Ki. What does this ki mean again? There's So many different keys in Japanese. This is next, next, right? Okay. Kore, kare, kare, 
Ga. Ga. Do you watch movies? Ega wa... Ega o mimasu ka? Ega o mimasu ka? Ega o mimasu ka? Narai is lessons. Dana. Tana. 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 What does Tana actually mean? Because I know Hondana is bookshelf, but I feel like Tana is something completely random, isn't it? Oh, shelf ledge rack. Okay, never mind. Tana is exactly what you'd expect it to be. Ba. B. Ba. B. Tomodachi. Tomodachi. <clears throat> Asobi is played. I played with her yesterday. No, I will play with Kyo. I will play with her today. I will play with her on time Thursday. I do not draw pictures. Do I look like a, a picture kind of kind of guy? Uh, Iwa Kaki Masen. Ewa Ewa Kaki Masen. ま、今日はたくさんを泳ぎました。たくさんを泳ぎました。I swam a lot today.彼女は僕の手紙を読みません。あ、彼女は彼女は僕の手紙を読みません。手紙を読みません。読みませ。she does not read my letters. She leaves you unread because you buck nasty. Two breads, please. Who's buying bread by the slice? You know you're living on a tight budget when you're like, Ugh. I don't think the entire loaf is in budget for this month. I will have two pieces, please. <laughs> I sometimes take pictures. Toki doki. Uh, Toki doki. Yeah, I feel like that's right. Damn, chat. We, whoa, we just unlocked a, a streak freeze and they wanted me to buy one earlier? Those dirty bastards. That's why you never crumble into the pressure of buying unless it's waifus, chat. You only buy if you're playing Genshin Impact. Then it's justifiable. Leave no waifu behind. If you do, you're disappointing everybody. Every waifu that's to come, every waifu... Of the past. Very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Alright, Kimas chat. Kimas? Uh, this is the Kimas where we're actually wearing clothing, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, to wear 
from shoulders down. <laughs> that is true. There's a different phrase for when you're wearing a hat in Japanese. I totally forgot about that. You're not Japanese until you can say you're wearing a hat. hi ya, chat. hi ya. All right. Mizu is water. Mizu. Doko is where. Doko. Ch uh, chikatatsu is... Chikatetsu. 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 Subway. Migi is right. Migi. Shatsu. 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 Um, do you have a map of Japan? Tori? Tori? Nihon? Nihon? Hon. Hon. Kuko? Kuko? Kara. Eh. Hayai? Oh, Tori is far. Inu. Inu. Ka. Ka. O. O. Yokuso. Yokuso. Aka. Aka. Kamura. Kamera. Uh, Natsu is summer Natsu. and Ie. Ie. おじは六十二歳です。六十二歳。六十二歳。六十二歳。六十二歳。My uh, uncle is Roku. My uncle is sixty-two. I would say Nakshi. Apparently it's Moshi. Let's come back to that. Let's circle back. Uh, Kirui. Kirui <coughs> is yellow. Kirui. Kiroi. I want to say that's yellow is Kirui. God damn. Um, uh, Ototo. Ototo. His younger brother. Uh, Miyage is Miyage. souvenir. Te is Te. hand. Moshi. 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 I don't think this is the Moshi Moshi kind of Moshi. Excuse me. Oh, maybe it is. Moshi Moshi. Hanojo wa amari hashirimasen. Hanojo. Hanojo wa amari hashirimasen. Uh, she doesn't run often. She does not run a lot. She does not run a lot of bread. Kare wa chichioya ni niteimasu. Kare wa chichi. Where is chichi? Was it kare wa? Kare wa chichioya ni niteimasu. Chichi. Chichioya. Oh, what does ni mean? I want to say that it has something to do with like swapping. Kariwa chichioya. 
I also don't remember what Chichioya is. He resembles his father. Right! Okay, it's not swapping places necessarily. It's resembling. Right, right, right. So Chichioya's father. <clears throat> well then, I'm leaving. Ja. Uh, not e. Tekimas. Ja, itte, ki mas. Itte rashai, otousan. Itte rashai, itte, itte rashai. Itte rashai. Itte rashai. Who was it? Itte rashai, otousan. Otousan. Um. I know that one also has something to do with leaving. Itte rashai. I'm off. Take care, Dad. Take care. I do not listen to a lot of music. Ongaku wa mari kikimasen. Ongaku wa amari kikimasen. Shikatetsu wa suki janai desu. Shikatetsu wa suki janai desu. I do not like subways. The subway. I sometimes take pictures. Toki doki shashin o torimas. Toki do shashin o torimas. Toki doki shashin o torimas. Forty points on the day is not too shabby, chat. We'll get back up in that promotion zone. Ooh, damn. The uh, competition do be thick. They're competing for the best spots, chat. They want to be Shigoi. Uh, so Lego Star Wars tomorrow, I think, is the play. I think of all my Star Wars games, that's probably the strongest choice to have a pretty fun day tomorrow. So that's what I'll do, chat. I wish they had added, like, more sagas. Like, I, I wish that's what they started doing. I like that they are adding the char uh, characters from different sagas, but... God, if you could play through, like, some of the iconic stuff of, like, um, Clone Wars, that'd be pretty sick. That'd be pretty sick. Plus, it's also something that I wouldn't mind going back and having, like, a refresher is Clone Wars. I feel like... In the future, they could just scratch the entire new trilogy and instead just do Clone Wars. <laughs> <clears throat> I'd like a holiday special level added. Oh no. Ewoks at Christmas time. I mean, to be honest. Like, no meme, it would actually be kind of fun. Just because it'd be, like, meme content. DLC character packs have landed. I wonder if they have any plans of doing any other like additional star wars spin-off stuff i know like to do the clone wars would be pretty intense but it'd be still sick if they could somehow pull it off uh, but chat that'll do it for me this evening i am getting tired and uh i should wrap it up because i got somebody coming to replace my hot water tank in the morning possibly so that'll suck i hate mornings and mondays but i love lasagna
would like a book of Boba Fett level could add levels like Tatooine and um Tatooine. <laughs> yeah, it would be kind of cool if like that's how they did DLC was like maybe like just iconic parts of like certain TV series. A little bit of the Mandalorian and you have to like fucking chillax with Grogu. I'd be down for a little action like that. I'd be down for some of that. Oh, yeah, well, okay, so at least for the first bit of the day tomorrow, uh, we're going to be playing Star Wars, and then I know Steez had sent me a message saying that he wanted to continue our DOS 2 playthrough, so... Uh, at about 4 o'clock my time, we'll make the swap over to that. And then on Saturday, we'll kind of do a a birthday celebration type thing. And like I say, I'll have some, some goals set up for that. Perhaps a cake to the face type thing. Except I'm kind of poor right now, so it'll be more like a cupcake to the face. Perhaps a couple of drinks. Whatever the haps, whatever the haps. Hey, fuck off. All right. We don't need no last minute ads where we're going, chat. That will wrap it for me today, though. Digital cake to the avatar? Well, that certainly does give me some ideas. If I get, oh god, I could just cut holes in a cake, and then that way you could see my eyes and my mouth move, but I'd still have a cake. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you again, Burrow, for the birthday wishes, and uh, I will see you guys. Like I said, tomorrow. Now it's nice because I have all my insurance stuff done until I actually start work, so we'll pretty much be able to focus on streaming and it'll be uh, relaxed until I start my new job, so let's uh, go. I say relaxed, but I do still have God of War to complete on the hardest difficulty because I ain't no bitch and I ain't hitting that difficulty switcher now. We're dedicated to the cause, regardless of how much I hate the difficulty. I'm fucking staying to the course, my dudes. Never give up. Never surrender. Be like Kratos. Buff, but can still wipe his ass. That'll do it for me, chat. Love you. See ya. Bye.